I'm Cindy from Computer Tutoring. I'm the training manager here. Um, so we've got a great team here at Computer Tutoring. Um, and today I'm going to talk to one of our trainers who also happens to be my husband, Simon. <laughs> Hence, we don't have to be too socially distanced. So I just thought it was a great chance to have a chat with Simon about how um, training has changed and is continuing to change, obviously, particularly since the beginning of March. Um, and as he's had first-hand experience of this, um, to see how he feels. So, hello, Simon. Hello, Cindy. <laughs> um, so basically, obviously, in March, all the training had to go over to online very rapidly. So how did you feel about that? Well, to be honest, Cindy, I felt really anxious because even though I'd conducted training online, uh, this was for relatively short periods of time. So often it was because of part of our three months post-training support. So it would be mm -hmm. half an hour, an hour at the most. So the prospect of doing a whole day on the screen looking at Zoom was a bit daunting, to be honest. Mm. So what sort of methods did you use? How did you overcome that? Well, I wanted everybody to be really involved. I'd known I'd been on training courses where somebody had just watched the screen you know, and just, and eventually, I, I, and I've been on one myself and I've just fallen asleep. So mm -hmm. I just wanted to make sure that the people had enough interactivity. So when I was doing my training sessions, I made sure everyone had their camera on and everyone could speak. And because there was only a maximum of eight, because I don't like training any more than eight maximum, it was, it was good. And it created like a camaraderie between the different students as well. And people felt free to ask questions. Mm. So I, I tried to do that. And then people carried on and they did their own work as well on their own systems. And I could sometimes see their screen and they could see my screen as well. And in trying to create that interactivity, it just contributed to just a better, I think, online experience. Yeah. And I know our customers have felt that. They felt relaxed. And despite the that situation, they've been able to enjoy the, the training day. Um, so from a trainer's point of view, what do you find is the most challenging part of that? Well, I think, a, firstly, there's a technical aspect. Um, because when people join um, Zoom, uh, Zoom, let's say, uh, they're, especially for a beginner's training course, say I was doing a basic Excel course, I'm not really sure as to the technical abilities of the people that are joining. So it could be that you got... 20 minutes of people trying to work out their camera or microphone or if they've got the right software. So that is a challenge, definitely. Mm. If something goes wrong, people instantly think, oh my goodness, it's my fault. And it might not be, but because of maybe some people not being so technically aware, that, that can be an issue. Yeah. And then as a trainer myself as well, um, the communication is definitely limited. And, um, it, they say that 80% like, of communication is body language. So when you can only see them, you know, from the chest upwards, yeah. um, it's sometimes difficult to know. Um, maybe even as a trainer, you're looking at how they're sitting and how they're engaging with the course. And that's just a little bit, well, I, yeah, it's just harder on Zoom to be able to to, to, to gauge that, that interest. Mm. And how have you worked with developing your own communication skills on Zoom and, and also your teaching skills on Zoom? Well, I've been looking at a lot of YouTube videos, I will admit, and other videos that will be from different online, other online training companies, because I won't be able to do that in person. Uh, but also other sort of presentation techniques as well, mm -hmm. um, from uh, actually from um, the BBC, do one as well, which is really good. Um, and just others who have actual on camera experience so so I've been doing that and, and it's just little things as well and, and what I what I do is what I what I learn is I try to teach others as well it helps me remember mm. so just things from looking your best on zoom how to look into the camera making sure the camera's the right level making sure the lighting's correct all of mm. that type of thing I just learned so much and I've tried to employ that into our online training yeah, and I know you've made videos about that as well mm. to help the students um, and also you're, you've become very good at using all the annotations yes. to help students because obviously working on different screens uh, can be challenging. So Yes, it can. You know, one of the things that's so confusing on Zoom uh, is say, for instance, a student's using two, two screens. Uh, sometimes they get confused between what, what, what screen is their screen mm -hmm. and what screen is my screen. And all of a sudden, you can find the student just saying, "Oh, hang on, am I moving this? I'm changing. Why am I? It might, why is my mouth moving? Mouse moving on its own?" And I go, "Oh, it's mine." So 
what I do is step one is I change my mouse color. So I make it a, what I call a bilious green, basically. So it's just this horrible bright green color, which most people are not going to have on their computer. So they can instantly see that's my mm. mouse. And then I use a software called Zoom It. It's a fantastic bit of software. And it means that when I'm sharing the screen, I can sh draw the screen annotations and the markups and the arrows and the circles and squares highlighting certain bits. It also allows me to zoom in and out on the screen as well. Um, and I know you can do annotations on Zoom and I know you can do annotations on PowerPoint, but I just want one which I was really comfortable with. A couple of keyboard shortcuts. I instantly know control one, zoom in, control two, draw an annotations um, and just different shortcuts to you know draw the, the different shapes on the screen. And in that way, as, I, as I'm using it more and more, uh, I often get people asking, well, how do you draw that on the screen? Um, mm. Yeah, so I've been learning that and that's how I've been adapting. Well, I know you've got very quick at that now and proficient. So yeah, I don't even have to look now, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, this keyboard shortcuts, so very good. <laughs> good, so um, obviously now um, face to face training is re emerging. We've started to do face to face training again. So, how have you found getting back into face to face training? Well, yeah, I mean, obviously, I mean, I remember the first time I was doing it, I was a little bit anxious um, because the big thing is, is um, you don't know the rules of the company you go to. So even if you are working regularly at an employee, um, at your employer, at like a, a, a site, you would know when to put your face mask on, when to take it off, which way round you go around if mm -hmm. there's a canteen or the office. But when you're a visitor, it's sometimes, you know, hard to pick that up. So I've got to be really, really, really um uh, pay attention to any instructions at all that the uh, the client gives me and then sometimes it's just really weird when you're in a training room some people they just like you to wear the masks and some people don't you know um so um I, I, it's just being careful in that room and it's just that anxiety just thinking what do I do the uncertainty say um as to what I do so that's the first sort of challenge mm. um, I know as a training manager I try and saw all those qu lingually questions out beforehand yes and thank you, know? you very much thank you very much <laughs> um but obviously you know everything's subject to change on the day um and, and even the delegates are subject to change so you have to be very flexible which i know you are yeah you. yeah so it's been nice for you then seeing students faces you know the seeing them face to face well, yeah and it's great sometimes i've forgotten what they well, was when i saw them there was, a, there was a, um, uh, a lady i met um uh, recently in london and when i saw her she had the mask on and eventually we took the masks off and it's like oh i forgot what you look like <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah it was it was quite funny but it's it's once everything's established and you know what what the uh, protocol is it's, it's 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 okay yes yeah oh good well it's good to see that despite all of this, you're still really enjoying training, whether it is online or face to face. Oh, and um, I forgot to ask as well, because we're based, we're based in London, although we do training throughout the UK. Um, so, Simon, when we've got clients in London, how have you changed your <laughs> method of getting there? Yeah, I have a new method of transportation. Now, some people might say I'm a little bit paranoid because I'm not taking the tube or any public buses or any other public transportation. But um, been taking advantage of cycling. So around the corner from us, we have the, a bike dock. So I can take bike, and I took a bike to Fulham to see a client there. Uh, but on the way, I did a few times, and then on the way back once, I just was so out of breath, and I thought, oh my goodness. So I had another client I had to go to near Blackfriars, actually Hoban. Uh, so I was just worried because that's a little bit further than Fulham mm. for us, because um, just from out of Hammersmith. So um, I, I thought, well, I'll try those electric bikes. So I did. So I signed up for them, scanned them, and I just thought, fantastic. Mm. Especially when you're cycling along and you're all suited and booted and you're going up the slight incline that's just the With far no end of high. Yeah, exactly. You've got it. No effort. It's just fantastic. So yeah, I think it's uh, definitely a good way, to, something I'll definitely be using more of. <laughs> So we're all getting into cycling here at Computer Tutoring now. So, uh, yeah, so thanks, Simon. Um, thank you as well. So please, um, thank well, thank you to all of our customers who have been bearing with us through this time. And um, we've said it before, but we'll say it again. We honestly really love seeing you, whether it is online or face to face. Um, and thank you, Simon. And thank you for all the videos you've been doing as well during lockdown. And we'll check in with you again soon. Thank you. Thank you.